Fargo heavyweight champion in the junior freestyle division. Coy Hopke down big in the finals. Come back, win by fall. How were you able to come back? Um, you know, just kind of putting it out of my mind. Wrestling the match I want to wrestle, you know, despite the score. Maybe I'm down, but you know, that doesn't matter as far as my game plan. So I'm just going to keep pushing my stuff, you know, doing what I do best. You know, I feel like I have a great gas tank. And if I can, you know, wear a guy down, then be able to catch him like I did. It feels pretty good. So how do you not let the mind beat you when you're down by nine or three or whatever it is? It, it takes a lot of training, you know. You just got to believe in yourself. And, um, you know, it's, it's like a whole new match coming out of that break. It's like if I beat him in this, this half of the match, you know, I'm going to win. So just kind of splitting it up into parts, you know, where you can win, putting yourself at your best, you know, kind of keeping that doubt out of your mind, um, and you can, you can come out on top. What kind of challenges did Aiden present? He was a big guy, you know, he's working under hooks, big Greco guy too, I know he's made a few world teams, um, and so, you know, just, you know, staying out of that, staying out of his stuff, obviously he had a little bit of size on me, so I'm working the angles, using my quickness, and then my gas tank, you know, wear some of these big guys down, and come out on top. Why does the United States keep producing such talented big men now? Yeah, um, you know, I, I don't know what it is. I think, you know, it's just these, you know, these big guys, they're dual sport athletes, um, you know, lifting weights, doing what they can to get big, and wrestling is just a part of that. You know, if you can use your size out there. Um, and me, I'm kind of different heavyweight. You know, I can use speed on some of these guys too. Um, so, you know, you just got to stay big in the off season and, you know, work your stuff. But once upon a time in football, you used to take all the big guys. Yep. Why is it not now? You know, I don't know what it is. Maybe, maybe it's just the love for wrestling. You know, it's a hard sport. You either got to love it or you know, it's not going to be fun for you. Um, so for me, I love wrestling. I love the pursuit of victory um, and just the reward that comes out of the hard work you put in. Um, and so overall, I think wrestling is going to be my path. This has been a pretty incredible performance by Team Wisconsin. When could you sense that things were building within the state? Um, you know, as a young age, I was wrestling these guys. You know, I was around the Mirasolas, um, Schools, Mulvaney, you know, these bigger guys. Um, and they're, you know, they were great wrestlers as well. We're all traveling everywhere. Maybe we're wrestling each other, you know, but that was, makes us better. Um, you know, just training throughout the state, we could tell we had a pretty good junior dual team this year. Fell a little bit short, but you know, it was, it was fun. So we're, you know, we're pushing to get all those guys to Fargo. And, have a great team performance. Obviously, the upper weights did pretty well for Wisconsin. But you're heading to Minnesota. Yep. Some people wonder what Gable Stevens is going to do. Yeah, um, you know, that's really not my thing. But you know, I, I'm, I'm going to Minnesota. You know, I respect the coaches there. Big thanks to you know everyone at Trading Partners, coaches at the Gopher Wrestling Club. Um, you know, and they're a big part of the reason why you know I was able to accomplish what I did. Um, and so I'm looking forward to head over there and. Uh, you know, maybe become the next great heavyweight. Well, the fact that obviously Gable was there, Minnesota's yep. had a lot of success with heavyweights. Did you study that at all? What is this so special with Minnesota and their heavyweights? Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, my dad growing up um, was a big Gopher, you know, fan as far as the heavyweights too and the success that they had. So that kind of you know passed on to me. Um, and I was looking at these guys, you know, um, Gable Stevenson being the most recent. Uh, I got to meet him a few times wrestle with him once, you know, it's pretty cool to see, you know, what Minnesota's been able to do with him and all the other great heavyweights, you know, glad to be a part of part of that culture. And finally, how much bigger do you need to get to be a successful heavyweight in college level? Um, you know, I'm looking to put on a few inches, maybe, you know, 20, 30 pounds. It's, you know, it's, it's how I feel. Um, wrestling is a big part of that feel. So, you know, I want to, you want to get bigger, but I also want to keep the you know, speed. So, you know, whenever I feel good, that's, that's when I'll be ready to go. Thank you.